In the late 1900s, Cardiff was by far Wales's largest industrial centre. Spurred on by the Industrial Revolution, its primary function was to service the needs of the rapidly growing mining industry in the valleys of South Wales. In the 1890s, when spillers began, of course, Cardiff was at its height. It was growing prodigiously fast. There were 130,000 people in Cardiff by 1891, compared with less than 2,000 at the beginning of the century. It had grown by 56% in the 1880s, which was the fastest growth of any town in Britain, probably any town in Europe at the time. It was really boom times for Cardiff. The key, of course, was the trade of the docks. The whole world depended upon a source of heat and energy which was delivered by the port of Cardiff. And not just Europe, France, Italy, but places like Chile, South America and Brazil. By the turn of the 20th century, the coal exchange in Mount Stewart Square in Cardiff stocks determined the price of coal. And it's very significant to think that the first world deal dealing with more than a million pounds occurred in the coal exchange at the beginning of the 20th century. So Cardiff was an ideal place for any new business venture, as aspiring entrepreneurs Henry Spiller and accordion player Joe Gregory discovered when they decided to open a music shop. They were convinced that new music technology, such as Thomas Edison's recently invented phonograph, would have a phenomenal impact on the way people listen to music. For several years, the shop could be found in Castle Arcade off St Mary's Street, though on moving to Queen's Arcade, they soon settled in. They sold phonographs, wax phonograph cylinders and shellac phonograph discs. They also carried out repairs, sold musical instruments and, of course, records. <laughs> 